Hello and welcome back to my sock my 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 sock pop series. What what is what is happening in my voice? Okay, um, my sock pop series in which I play every single sock popping sock pop sup up sup up, sup up. It's gone. It's gone. I'm I'm having a stroke for for real. Um, hold on a second. Also, the game is still loud. I always do that. All right, um, this is White Lavender. Now, just to be clear, no, this is not White Lavender. I know it looks a lot like White Lavender, but this is actually the demo for White Lavender. The game is not out yet, but it looks really cool, and I have a funny feeling this game is going to make a splash, and I would I would like to check it out while it's, while it's super fresh. Big sister. Oh, little brother, I'm feeling so sick. I feel so cold, but also warm. Oh no, are you dying? My condition is only getting worse. Please help me. If only we had some kind of plant medicine for you. I've heard of a tea recipe that could help. The ingredients are rare, difficult to obtain. But could you please find them for me? We need fresh frog spawn, bubble gum, and white lavender. I believe in you. You can do anything. Before you go, here is my wooden sword. It might be of use to you. I need to rest. Please hurry. So, uh, so I mean, Sock Pop have been up in their game lately, uh, I gotta say. they Their recent entries have been becoming more and more ambitious. Um, I mean, notably recently with Stacklands, but also with other games like, uh, the was it Kochu's Dream? Uh, I know there are different devs at Sock Pop, and they all make different games, so it's not necessarily fair to say that they all work on these games, um, you know. But uh, it's still, it feels like all of them are, are kind of up in their game and making some interesting stuff. So I think this is Tom's bug game. I believe Aaron uh, made Stacklands, and uh, Rube ha is uh, responsible for some of the pretty crunchy games you see. I think like uh, Dissy Lands or Dissy Towns, I can't remember, but it, you know, credit where credit is due. I just wanna, I just wanna, I don't wanna like um, come across as like, oh yeah, Sock Pop is one big conglomerate and they're all working hard on these games and I don't even know if that's, that's feasible. Anyway, this game looked really cool. It looks um, a little bit Elden Ring inspired, but it would be difficult to come out of the fog that uh, Elden Ring created on the games industry, a, a good one, a good fog, by the way, without coming out with with some, um, you know, influence. Of course, you know, Elden Ring is the Souls-like, so it, one could assume that this might be just Souls-y, and, you know, so what do we got? We got a straw hat. Uh-oh. Am I about to become the Pirate King? You can check it out in the inventory screen. Okay. I wonder if anyone else is an anime nerd. Uh, whoa, this is... See, this is a lot. This is a game that supposedly took like a month or so to, to make. Straw Hat. Alright, well, it is a Straw Hat. It's not THE Straw Hat. I'm... I'm gonna become the Bug King. Break the pot. Break the pot. Break the crate. Can't can't do it. Hello? Oh, uh, hello there. I have not seen you in a while. How are you? Oh my. Your big sister is ill, you say. And now you want to venture out? To brew a special tea? Ha, ah, hmm, I see. But it is dangerous out there. Did I teach you how to defend yourself? Uh, I don't think so. All right, then. It's quite simple, really. Do you see that dummy over there? Yes. Well, walk over to it, and I'll show you the basics. Great. Press Q to focus on it. Aw, oh, yeah. Now you won't lose track of it. Now press the left mouse button to hit it. Smack. Good job. Now try to knock it out. Done it. Not bad. You might be a natural. But, you see, a dummy does not strike back. Let's open up that egg over there. You will have to open it by hitting it. Oh, I don't want to open the egg. Go ahead, try it. 
This is a game with bugs, and there's gonna be bugs in the egg. No. Don't make me open the egg, please. No! What is it? Oh, wow, a maggot. I hate it. Thank you. It's probably angry. It will try to attack you. Block any incoming attacks by holding the right mouse button. It will be fine. I'm holding it. Oof. It's just a young maggot. Yeah. So we got some nice um, conveyance. We can see a nice little telegraph. That's, the thing is about to attack me. I appreciate that. Die, maggot. You're gross. Good job. It seems like you got the hang of it. All right. You will probably do fine out there. Here is my key to the gate. Obtained one old key. It will lead you to the clover fields. All the best of luck, young one. I hope you can save your sister. Now, um, to be fair, uh, you know, I, I don't know which of the, oh, oh, I'm exhausted. Which of the sock pop devs, but, um, did, but this is not the first souls like from, uh, sock pop, nor will it be the last. They will make more, I'm sure. Um, but there's been, there's been a few Soulsy type games. Um, I, and I've covered at least one of them. They're, they can get really spicy. You collected some pollen. You can grow stronger by spending these in the character screen. Yeah? And do you lose them on death? That's the, that's the major question. Also, can you do, do you stun enemies? Also, if my bar fills up all the way, do I um, a slimy hat? Listen, I don't want to lose the straw hat. I feel very attached to it. I will if you make me. Oh, there's a worm. Let's get rid of the maggot first. All right. So we got our first ranged enemy. Pop. I like that effect. Also kind of like, uh, I do kind of like the VHS effect that's kind of going on in this game. I, I can't remember, was it, I think it was Kochu's Dream. I feel like they've um, gone with a different kind of rendering system than, uh, than with Kochu's Dream. I think those were different devs. Cause uh, Kochu's Dream, had this kind of like really weird, it was almost like um, blotchy paint effect where it rendered things in like blotches. Here it feels like they've rendered things in a kind of a, just a stock standard 3D and then applied a filter over it. And then to be fair, I think that, um, I think I prefer this because it, it, it looks a bit more, I don't know, sane than uh than kochu's dream uh, to be fair I, yeah, like I, I did really like kochu's dream but it was it was a little bit hard to look at it occasionally whoa a new face come drink some tea with me it's good for your health i assure you all right give me some tea oh i, I get to rest all right reach into my heart maidenless you you must Go and touch grass. Backspace, get up. Okay. You gathered some cups of tea from the kettle. Drink it by pressing F to regain some health. Ooh, some kind of flask. Interesting. The tea is amazing, isn't it? You know what they say. One cup of tea a day is very good for your health. Oh, and by the way, I'd advise you not to enter that uh, can over there. I've heard some strange noises coming from it. Just so you know. Okay. Well, how do we level up, though? Uh, character. Wow. This is a lot. Witchcraft. How long is this game? How long is this game that we're going to be putting points into witchcraft? Um, I might just make a stock standard um, strength build. Increases damage of heavy weapons. 
Well, what kind of weapon are we using right now? I guess I shouldn't do this until I have, um, until I have any weapon other than this wooden sword. Oh, we got a wooden shield. Well, we should equip that. Left hand. Okay, left hand, wooden shield. Equip. Nice and easy. Works easy. Um, the guy did not explain to me actually how I use my flask. So I can, by moving my mouse, was stunned. By moving my mouse, I can pick um, the target. That's actually kind of, I don't know. It, it, it's not really doing it for me. Ouch. Wow, I almost died there. Okay, okay, we're leaving. I'm out of here. We need to be a better level. That, that there, that there is the catacombs. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. That is the catacombs if I ever done see them. I have spotted them and I have I have seen through the ruse. Is that an enemy? I think so, because there's more than one. Come here, buddy. I guess I, ch I could have tried dodging, huh? Ouch! Well, okay, we don't take all of our health and damage, though. At least there is that. Oop. Ouch, ouch. Maggot, get out of here. So how do I use the Estus flask? Yo, I'm stuck on the geometry. Use the T. Use it. How do I use the T? Oh my God. Yo, if you're gonna give me T, please explain to me how to use it. So I now I am going to have to press every button to find out how to use the T. It looks like it's F. All right. Well, this was uh this this I think is hard, but it's not gonna be as hard as uh fighting those snail buddies. Alright, get rid of the snail the sorry the, the maggot first before I anything else in that way we don't have to deal with them. Lure this guy away. Oh you can hold the button down for like a big strike. Yes, you let your guard down. I don't know how I feel about the switching targets business. I, I feel like there should be a better way or like a less easy way of doing it because that's also my camera, right? Okay, we done it. We killed someone. Honestly, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Um, it seems like you don't lose your levels when you die, which is nice. I don't need that mechanic in every every game that looks anything like uh, an action RPG. Um, I'm just going to increase my vigor. I'm assuming that's my health. Okay, we got a blue cloak. I wonder how much exploration is going to be in this game. Like, you know, how much, how many, how many secrets are we, are we going to have? So this one has scaling with, wow, it really is like I just stopped playing <laughs> an 80 hour uh, open world adventure game and uh, jumped into a sock pop game. And, and it's, it's, it's actually kind of nice, you know, like, um, a lot of my knowledge is just gonna very conveniently transfer over. Oh. You know, I used to be uh, the kind of guy that would um, just hold up your shield at all times and, and use it as a crux. And it wasn't until basically Elden Ring that I 
finally got to become a, a roll bro. You know, one one who's who thoust uh, did the rolling and and uh, attacking aggressively rather than using the shield all the time. I did, you know, I did really like the new, um, the new attack, counter-attack when you get hit on the shield. That was one of my favorite additions, but I don't know. After a while, it just didn't seem worth it. Oh, oh. Those worms are very hidden. Ouch. Okay, let's use our T. The the T it, that's got to be one of the fastest healing in any Souls like. I appreciate it. I'm here for it. This guy's got a lot of health. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, buddy, you need to die. You've you've lived long enough, I think. I'm looking forward to spells, honestly. What does a spell look like in this game? Ouch. Okay, more tea. I don't mind us using all the tea. All right. Man, that was that was a lot. Now if I rest here, is that going to respawn everything? I think it just did. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, you know, there is the classic move of, uh, we could just, like, run through this area. Did I, do I have enough to level up? Yes. How healthy you are defines your max health. I, I think I do want to increase my might, after all. Let's do that. We can, we can do a bit of grinding, just a little bit. Probably want to do Fortitude at some point. Wow, that was a nice hit. The other thing, I mean, taking a hit um, on your shield increases your chances of getting stunned, right? So you may as well roll out of every attack. There's, there's like, very little benefit to blocking a attack, except for the fact that you end up not moving, right? You stay still, um, and you stay near the enemy, so you can you have a better, uh, you know, you don't have to close the distance to, to do some damage. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's a benefit, but I don't think it's as good as just rolling, because you could always roll sideways and stay near that way. I just think that learning, learning how to dodge effectively is better than learning how to block effectively. Oh. The fact that they can dodge as well is interesting. We, you can stun that lock them also. All right, well, we're gonna go this way, I think. Ooh, we got uh, some kind of frog. Maybe they are a frog mage. Maybe they can also give us the frog juice that we need. Ha ha ha, finally. Could it be an apprentice? I suppose so. You look capable enough. Hmm, yes. I am the magic frog, and I will teach you a powerful magic spell. Here you go. Oh, a fireball. Use it wisely. Return to me later. Uh, when equipped, see to cast it. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that right away. Uh, maybe it told me the other... You know, the, how to use the T as well, but I didn't see it, so. How does one equip a spell? Um, spell. There it is. Equip that. Mug shard. Oh, I'm assuming... <laughs> very good. I'm assuming that will increase the number of uh, T swigs that we get. Oh, you scared me. You gave me a spook, a fright. I do I, I, I do think I'll probably go might build. Leather boots, yeah, let's put on some leather boots. 
Oh, wrong button. I can't believe we went and made a game with like every single weapon slot. That is like an equipment slot. That's that's wild. That is like ridiculously ambitious. Ah, finally. An adult. <laughs> you got to help me. I was playing hide and seek with my good friend, Meggie. I think she went into this cave and I'm scared. I'm waiting here, but it has been four days already. Could you find her and get her back? Four days, yo, she is dead. I've got nobody to play a bug ball with now. Please help me. I'm too scared to go in there. I'll give you something cool in return, sure. I wonder if this is going to be the end of the demo. Oh, I love these glow mushrooms. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I love that. We had enough to fully kill that man without recovering our stamina. Are there secrets around here, do you think? The camera hates this, actually. <laughs> the camera is 100% not okay with me going over there. All right, I am hearing you loud and clear, camera. We've got a wizard. Ah, hello there. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a high priestess, searching for holy scribbles. My travels brought me to this dark cave. I've tried teaching these worms the holy ways, but they won't listen. But you might allow me to re recite something for you. Okay, here comes. 10 plus 10 equals 15? Touching, isn't it? Let that sink in. It might even enlighten you. <laughs> Good luck out there. <laughs> gray pedal. I got, I got a gray pedal. So what, um, what, what's going on with the, is this a different spell? Minor heal. You can only have one spell equipped. So it may as well be fireball. We wanna see fireball before uh, we stop playing this. Are you a bad, bad guy? Yes, you are. Spell, spell, spell. Ouch, that hurt a lot. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, oh god. All right, tea time. Too bad he can't accidentally uh, jump into the hole. I never thought I'd say this, but I think the stamina actually recovers a little bit too quickly. Because it, it's almost like it's not a problem ever. I, it takes like a second for me to recover from it. Alright, we should level up. And you know what? I'm going to level up might. Yeah. We want, we want that might for some extra big damage. Nice, now we can hit, kill these things in four hits. All right, strength amulet sounds good. I would like to use that amulet, strength amulet. Um, yes, it looks like it's good. I, I like the strength amulet. What? No no visual representation of the strength amulet on my character? Sock pop? Ha, what? Can't believe you. 
Oh, okay. So we got some kind of... Oh, it is... I was about to say Hydro Worm, and then I looked down and it said Hydro Worm. Oh, God. Oh, God. That, that was a lot. I'm just throwing my fireballs at it. Now we're gonna hit it. I think we can stun lock it, not sure. Ouch, ouch, that hurt. Ow, okay. All right, I've got a I've got a pattern now going. Easy, easy peasy, nice. Way easier than the frog, I gotta say. In in Kochu's dream, that frog haunts my dreams. Mug shard, nice. They're out of tea. I hope there's a place to rest pretty soon. That looks like some kind of super maggot. Dark ring. Okay, let's have a look at dark ring. Um, this will increase all of our stuff. I think. Yeah. It's made of onyx. I think it will increase all of our strength and stuff. Oh, is this Meggy? Hello, Meggy. I think. Yeah, it is Meggy. Okay. Come on, Meggy. I'm hoping you will follow. Yeah, you will. This is really cool. I, I do hope that this is like a, a full experience. Like, uh, you know, I, 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 want, I want this to have some chops to it. I want it to be developed. I want it to, to be a, a few hours even. I'm enjoying it. Even though I just played uh, a lot of Elden Ring recently, this this doesn't necessarily feel like just more of that. It it's like the sock pop um, flavor, you know. And I'm enjoying it. Why are you back? I gotta say. I um. I killed you, and I didn't rest. So why are you back? May as well use all your spells. Nice. We should level up soon. I might put some more points into Vigor. But I, I think that strength would be valuable. Alright, let's rest. Get our get our tea back. Oh, we, we don't need to talk to that guy. Lots of we've got lots of pollen, so I, I should be good. Oh, yeah, we you know what we really need um, some fortitude. Let's just put a bunch of points. I know I said that stamina recovers too quickly, but I would still like to be able to throw out a bunch of hits right away. Holy smokes! There you are, Meggy. This got to be the best day of my life. Let's just vibe here and not venture into caves, okay? Oh, Mr. Adult Bug, thank you so much for your help. Um, you can have this. It's one of my coolest toys. I got a slingshot. Oh, ranged combat, huh? We could definitely do that. I wonder if that would go in our left hand. Hmm, looks like no. Fun but dangerous. Uh no. I made a strength I made a strength build and I'm good with the strength build. I 
I'm doing I'm doing some pretty spicy damage now. Might even be able to kill a snail, you never know. I think next I'm gonna dump a bunch of points into uh uh vigor. Aha, yes, hello. R return to me when you are a bit smarter, okay? Oh, I see. You want me to uh, put points into, like, witchcraft or something, and then you'll actually teach me more spells. An interesting and tempting idea, but I'm not going to do it, see? Because I'm a strength build. Listen, I know, this it's pro possibly the most boring build you can make in these kind of games, but it works, and it's fun. I like it. I like to do the big numbers, you see? I like the number to be the big number. And certainly with the strength build, you make the big number. You cannot argue with my results. Ouch, ouch. Oh no, we have flying bugs. My least favorite enemy. All right, come here, bug. I like the design of the bugs. Fun. See, I'm, I'm like throwing out a bunch of attacks and I'm still running out of stamina. So I, I don't uh, regret putting points into stamina. Yes, it recovers quickly and oh my god, that's a big sword. Yo, you need to cool it with that sword. I think maybe you need to give me that sword also. Oh, he destroyed me, actually. Well, that was our first death. Do we still have the slingshot? Yes. Okay, so quests completed are permanent. Oh, wait, that wasn't our first death. Listen, I actually didn't say that ironically. I, I literally thought it was our first death. Oh, there's a there's a pick pickup over here. Didn't see that. Iron key. Oh, that that seems important. Let's uh let's let's tee up. Let's tee off, you know? These guys are easy, easy experience, easy pollen. I should use the lock on uh, more often, but <clears throat> you know, I'm lazy. I like the cup. They, there's a great sense of scale in this game. It's like, yeah, I'm a, I'm an adventurer, but also I am a bug and uh, the world does reflect that. Oh, I don't want to go in there, maybe. Did I go down the wrong path? I, I'm kind of lost right now. Okay. So, I don't know what these signs mean, necessarily. Also, I should have rested here, so yeah, you, you do want to rest at a place. Oh, we can run! Oh my god, this whole time I can run. This is... Oh, you guys... Y'all never saw that part of the Surge playthrough, but I forgot I could run and didn't remember until like halfway through my playthrough. I wonder what that dot in the top right means. Maybe it means that we have enough to level up. I feel like it does. No, it can't mean that because we don't right now. All right. Oh, what's this? Slimy hat. I don't want a slimy hat. Defeated? What? Did that thing really do that much damage to me? 
I didn't notice. 100% did not notice that that thing did like most of my health and damage, if that's what, the, what happened. These guys can dodge my spells really effectively. I want to I want that to uh, next strength level up. That's what I want. All right. That was that was bad. I think I am supposed to go to Snail Town now, but I, I, I really want to see if that guy will give me their sword. Wow! That's an instant death, huh? That seems a little bit much. I can't believe I killed that guy the first time. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time because I really wanna see if I get that sword. This, uh, this makes this effectively uh, a realistic souls experience at this point. I'm glad you don't drop your pollen. I uh, I don't I really don't need that mechanic to be a thing. So I appreciate that it's not a thing. I think I can level up again, so I, I wouldn't mind. I'll 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 put it into vigor. Um, uh, why did that not kill me this time? Is it- is this a bug? I- I don't mean that, like, as a joke, but... Was that guy not supposed to be able to kill me in one hit? Cause that seems to me like he did not do that much, uh, damage to me. Oh, iron sword! Okay. Alright. Nice. No, not, not hat. Sword. Ye what? Okay. 31. Yeah, we're gonna be doing the big numbers now. Told you, I wanna make, I wanna do the big numbers. It can kill these things in two hits now. I wanna see one hit. I still want to see if this guy maybe drops his sword. All right, solid. Maybe maybe this his sword is over here. I know I don't have a sword because his sword is still far bigger than my sword. Decidedly. Oh, I can rest here. Not that it matters. Everything can kill me in one hit now. Oh, big, big bug. He can jump to oh green lotus, okay. This guy is pretty tanky. I can get away with three hits. Some of the, some, ouch. All right, that's, that is indeed like all of my health in one hit. I figured that was gonna be the case. Done. Done. This is the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Playtime 30 minutes. Wow, I mean, that seemed like um, more than 30 minutes. And in fact, I have 39 minutes on my, on my uh, stream, so I'm, I'm interested uh, how, they, they, how they arrived at that. But anyway, this was White Lavender, and I'm uh, really interested to play more of that. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, 
this should be should be pretty exciting. I think this could be one of the most ambitious sock pop games yet. But anyway, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.